My name is David Ben, and I'm the magic consultant on The Grand Magic. A magic consultant, as a friend of mine used to say, is someone who provides covert knowledge on a needs-to-know basis. So what that means is I analyze the script for the magic content and then try to create something that's historically accurate or as the playwright intended. And then we really choreograph the magic with uh, the cast, the crew, and the designers. One of the big secrets in magic is that you can't describe how things are done in one simple sentence. Magic is always the cumulative effect of hundreds of apparently inconsequential details. And it's the choreography of those details that really uh, creates wonder. One of the other roles as a magic consultant, at least I believe, is to provide context for the, uh, the designers and particularly uh, the cast on some background to the story that they may not be privy to. And one of the things that I found interesting about Otto is even though he may appear to be down on his luck, I could tell that he was a great illusionist. He comes out of, unfortunately, a very difficult time in world history. It's post-World War II. He's an Italian, which means he's on the losing side. The entire landscape in Europe was decimated, so the types of venues that he would have worked are basically gone. And so it forces him to scramble as a creative person, hence finding himself in a luxury hotel for hire, really, to uh, create some, some magic uh, by design. So I think that background was important because we can, you can tell, particularly with the presence that Otto has on stage, that he's someone who's worked a really grand theatre. One of the other wonderful things I found in the play was that uh, Di Filippo, I think, created a new magical effect. And in my field, it's very difficult to create new magical effects. There's only been you know, a handful in the last hundred years that you can really say are new effects. I think Di Filippo called upon historical presidents and magicians that he probably saw perform as he was growing up in, in Europe. In particular, the uh, production of flowers, we can trace back to Bolchier de Colta, a great uh, French magician. And the canary in the cage, which is a focal point, I believe was he saw uh, a Dutch magician named Theo Bamberg perform under the guise of Okido perform this particular feat. So one of my tasks was to try to discover the methodology that Okido used to allow this to be performed. And then we had to alter it so it can be performed in the round. I mean, one of the great challenges for any magician is that behind the scenes take and of course this thrust stage which is uh, you know synonymous with Stratford poses its own challenges uh, to performers and in particular to magicians so to be able to create that illusion in fact all of the magic in the grand magic in the round in that sense uh, was a great challenge one of the things that I really love seeing develop is that every great magician generally has a great company behind them and they have their own sort of psychic code that they understand how they work. And I can, I can honestly say I've seen Sarah and Gare develop that here as a whole. Perhaps the thing that I'm most curious about seeing is how the audience reacts in real time to the magic that is unfolding. Uh, I was working on another play and there was a school assembly show that came by. There was a lot of magic in this play. And just before the show, I could hear the teachers telling the kids, now don't misbehave, not a sound from any of you. And I thought, no, we want them to like react because that's the idea to engage. I think that's one of the wonderful things about incorporating magic into a play is that it gives the actors that awareness to always a reminder to be in that moment and to go where the audience goes. You need that balance and I think that's why it's been such a pleasure to work with Anthony on this whole project. It was either Da Vinci or Michelangelo who may have said uh, sometimes the means of expression can be so exquisite that the effect is lost. With a company with such you know, beautiful designers and you know, Francesca's costumes and Lorenzo's the staging, the lighting and the soundscape and the ensemble. It's a real juggling act to, to get all those notes uh, right. Well, I, I really hope you get a chance to, to come and experience Grand Magic because it really is magical on so many fronts. And as they say in my profession, you really want to catch it before it disappears.